are tuning in to my diary vlog and right now it's currently the end of the month you know after seeing how the whole month went god because that's what i'm following in i'm following in god i'm doing what he says and i have it set up where i could be doing this at home but y'all bought the wrong stand and it's short so I was like, you know what, since I'm already outside and I got this going for me in my car, I was like, I might as well do the word part in the car. So here we go. The scripture I got was, don't trust them or I hate when people trust idols. I trust God. Before the month even started, I lost my Facebook and I lost my Instagram. I lost my business page and I was sorry, y'all. I was sorry. I'm like, what, 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 what is going on? <laughs> what is seriously going on right now? Why did Facebook just tell me somebody reported me? And now, not only do I not have my Facebook, I do not have my Instagram. So, I was already upset. And why was I upset? Because not knowing it, them pages was my life. Not just to do my work, but to do my work to show it off to the people that was following me. In the midst of trying to do something, trying to save it, trying to get myself back on social media. Um, I typed in my information and opened up my original page when I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? It took me back there. I had that for a long time. Like after I had my son, but I uh, deactivated it just because I'm like, okay, no, I got my son now. I really don't care for people to that I don't know to be all up in my business, you know, whatever. But so happens I got that page back. Reconnected with a whole bunch of people. And with my Instagram, my Instagram, I just made a whole new one. But this time I went in it with the mindset of like, what do I want my Instagram to say? about me you know what i'm saying instead of just living in this persona living the way i feel like everybody should see me living in a way of i don't know <clears throat> like i'm faking it because that's what after after humbling myself and building stuff back up i realized that i was faking it i was doing it for the idols i wasn't doing it for god I wasn't thinking about God in this process. I wasn't thinking about, like, I should be myself. I should just not stress about the likes. I should just do it because I want to do it. like okay God you got my attention you got my attention you made me realize that my old stuff wasn't for you wasn't for the betterment of me it was just to be this person that I thought I needed to be and you humbled me back into realizing it's inside me nobody can tell me nothing
all this month I have been in uncomfortable situations. When it comes to my job, ooh, when it comes to my home, the new home that I just moved into, I just been so uncomfortable and I've been trying to hide from it and I tried to deny it. I tried to, you know, not even listen. Like, no, this is not what I want to do. This is not where I'm trying to be at. But like, I keep on getting reminded, like, stop trusting in everybody. Stop asking outside people what you should do because they don't understand why you're in this uncomfortable situation you don't even know and you're already ready to walk away from it you don't even know and you're already walking away like this month really has shown me like like for the situation at my home and just dealing with my neighbors you know I've been put in a position where, for one, I had to stand up for myself. You know what I'm saying? I had to call the cops. I had to go speak to management. And all I keep on saying to myself is I'm not putting myself nor my child through this. Okay? I'm not dealing with that. Not in the place that I live. But one thing that came to me is that The devil is going to do whatever he can to take you out the place that I need you at the most. But I remember waking up in this dream, like literally about to wake up, getting up, about to start my day. And I hear God, I hear a voice saying convenience is the devil. And in the situation where I was trying to get out my home, that same day I met somebody and they was like, I got a home for you. I got a home, but it's not in a good place, but it's in, the home is in a good location, but that community ain't even good, you know what I mean, and it's everything I would want, a town home, a backyard, you know what I'm saying, it's nice. But the devil only provides convenient situations. I remember that. And even in that situation, if I would have took that jump, if I would have found a way to get out of my lease and do exactly what I wanted to do, it would have been a disaster. Because also that same person that's provided me the home, it ain't even done and fixed up yet. You know what I'm saying? And... If I would have let that place go, it would have took me back to the place that God took me away from, which then would have brought more attention into the relationship that I ain't even, you know, trying to bring more attention to. Another thing, especially with the relationship, is if you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, that's how you know. And I ain't even trying to hear God when he keep on making people say that to me. Stop telling me that. But I hear you. I hear you. And even with that, it have brought something that I would not be trying to do. Even though I don't know where that whole situation is going to go. But purely and authentically, I'm not trying to mess it up. I'm not trying to mess that up, bro. I want that for myself. I want peace. And I talked to an old co-worker of mine. Shout out to Toto. <laughs> and she always giving me a word, y'all. She always giving me a word. Love her to death, man. But she told me recently to pray for him. Pray for my neighbors, which I do. And understand that God got me there for a reason. And I can't leave till I understand why. I feel like the message stuck out the most the night that I got into it with my neighbors. Because that whole day, because I'm not going to get too much into it. Because 
we're not bringing negativity on here but i heard my neighbors outside of my door because i'm right next to the laundry room and something that i wasn't sure how it happened why it happened i found out that they possibly had something to do with it and they kept bothering me and they kept bothering me and my spirit was like let them be let them do them don't let that affect you but my anger was like, you know, confront them. Shake this motherfucker up. <laughs> like, but after confronting them and realizing there was no talking to these people. All they knew was fight. <laughs> so now I'm in a situation with the devil and God in my in my ear. Swing on her. <laughs> Swing on her. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Knock her out. <laughs> Cause you tripping and I ain't having it. But then another part of me is like, stop, Tay. <laughs> stop. Call the police. Handle it in the office tomorrow. You not about to do that. You not about to trust in this. See what your eyes is showing you. They're not willing to talk. So you handle it mutually and listening to that voice i did i called the police <laughs> they came and talked to us thank god they were black sorry not sorry being funny but all facts thank god they were black they came there humbly talked to us humbly made sure we were good nobody got shot or arrested thank god for them <laughs> but <laughs> They came there, they handled the problem. They told me to go talk to the office the next day, and I did. And ever since then, I've been to every appointment. Ba -da -dang, ba -da -dang, I'm here for an appointment. You ain't remember? That's sad. Now let's go sit down and talk about it. Like, it brought out a whole new attitude that I don't even do. Like, that's not me. Because <laughs> I, man, <laughs> it's Monday the november 28th but i got two more days to decide what i want to do and even before he even gave me that because he gave me three options so i'm gonna just go with option one i'm gonna deal with it i'm gonna deal with it because even before i went to that meeting where he gave me my options i kind of already was like i already kind of heard it in my spirit just deal with it because every other option is going to put me in a financial bind. So I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to be this person. I can't just buy my way out of it. I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to stand tall, ten toes down, and deal with it. Dealing with it, it's hard. You know... They still trying to get my attention. They still knocking on our floor to let us know that we hear y'all walking around. But it's just like they going to have to learn how to deal with us living up there. We're going to walk around. You're going to hear our footsteps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We not even rude with it. I'm not bumping music at three in the morning. I'm sleep by the end. My, my doors is locked and shit is closed at my house by 10, maybe 11 o'clock. For sure, 12 o'clock. Ain't nobody coming in that time. <laughs> so it's just like, we both gonna have to learn how to deal with each other. It's hard, but it has to get done. What I feel like I need to continue to develop, because I just heard it in the last video, I need to learn how to mold myself in situations instead of crying about it and not trying to do it uh, this ain't me i don't like this i'm gonna have to learn how to deal with it sometimes things in life we're not gonna like but we can't always find the loophole to get out of it because you don't even know why you were put there and you're gonna miss the whole reason because you're too scared, you're too stubborn, you're not trying to realize that you were here for a reason. Another thing I learned this month, 
what's supposed to come to you is going to come to you and then nobody's going to take it. That's why it's hard for me to get out now. Because this apartment was for me. Those neighbors were supposed to be my neighbors. All of this stuff is for me. And realizing it or not, why I got all of these options <laughs> and why number one is the best one is because there is no easy way out of this. No matter if it's a contract or this or that. I didn't even know I could buy out my lease. I thought he was about to laugh in my face and be like, what? Buy it out. <laughs> Honey, you're here forever. <laughs> but no, I had options. I could buy it out. But that wasn't for me. This apartment is for me. And I'm so uncomfortable in it because the devil know that I'm going to grow in this spot. I'm going to be a better person in this spot. I'm going to be a better mother. I'm going to be a better business owner. I'm going to be better in this spot. And I cannot go nowhere. Because if I keep running, I will never see how good I'm going to be. That was a word. For real though. <laughs> like, I'm really... I just moved in there in July, y'all. If y'all watch Self Care Saturday, y'all will see. I was in there since July. And I'm still trying to get comfortable come in December now. And I'm just starting to mm, get comfortable. Okay. I'm by myself now. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. I'm starting to finally just see I have to be here. And again, I don't know where this journey going to take me, y'all. I'm prepared to see it through. <laughs>